It's now been 23 days since Clark County Deputy Matthew Yates' wife lost her husband. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm James Brown. Cheryl McHenry is off today. Today, Tracy Yates talked only with New Center 7's Mike Campbell. She shared the struggles from the day he died while on the job and how every day she pushes to move forward without him. Tracy Yates says she and her family are trying to get through this tragedy one day at a time, and the outpouring of community support has certainly been helpful, including even when they drive to their house, they can see the police flag signs are up to support them. Some of the stories that I've heard have just been amazing. I mean, everyone that I meet has a story. Tracy Yates spoke with me, surrounded by her husband's father, Gene Yates, and her oldest son, Anthony. He always greeted you with a handshake and always left you with a smile. Yates said everyone's stories of her husband reflect her own family's memories and make his loss that much more difficult. Mornings and nights are really hard for us. Um, just, he's so loud in the morning, so missing that. Tracy Yates said during Matt Yates' 15 years as a deputy, they had a routine whenever dangerous situations came up and she reached out to him. He would always answer the phone and say, I'm good, and hang up. But Matt Yates did not do that on July 24th when Tracy saw reports of shots fired at a mobile home community. She knew something was wrong and called Matt's dad. I tell you, it was the longest three hours of my entire life. Um, just the waiting. Yates said a lot of what happened next is a blur, including being taken to the hospital. But she remembers going in to see her husband, knowing he had not survived. She worried about her family, especially the 13-year-old daughter she and Matt shared. And just to, to see my husband laying there, you know, like that was just traumatizing. And I just remember, how am I going to tell her? Like, how am I going to let her know that he's not here? Tracy Yates told me she and her children are taking one moment at a time. One thing she has not done is to try to learn about the people Matt dealt with that day. One thing she has done is thank fellow deputies and officers for their attempts to save him. And she now realizes she really misses the simple things about being a law enforcement officer's spouse. I always joked with him about the sound of Velcro. And I'm like, that sound of Velcro is so refreshing. You know, and, and it's, you know, because to hear that vest come off and just not hearing that anymore. The Sheriff's Department continues to remember Deputy Yates. You see the morning symbol on their vehicles. And in fact, Deputy Yates's vehicle is back in service, now being driven by his best friend in the department. In Clark County, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.